Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Julie. I'm a homeschooling mom of five. A lot of my content here on this page is homeschooling large family content. I also like to post some food content. And so what I've been doing is every month I show you all of our grocery hauls for the month in one video. I tell you what I spend for each grocery trip and then at the end of the video, I share the grand total of how much I spent on groceries that month. We did have to order some chocolate whey protein powder this month, so we got this big 10 pound bag that came to 111.86. It's the Rivalis. No, I think the name got changed to Rival Nation now. And then my birthday was on the first, and so we did go shopping on the first, got some broccoli for my birthday dinner. We had steak and rice and broccoli for dinner. I requested brownies and ice cream for dessert. So we needed to buy some eggs, and then we went to Kawartha Dairy and bought peppermint ice cream and the first of the holiday season, eggnog. And so that shopping trip came to 29.13. And now today, it is November the 6th, and I just went to Walmart and did our big weekly grocery trip. So I'll show you what I picked up today. I forgot to tell you the total of what I spent today, didn't I? This all came to $210.05. We'll start over here. So we have two more birthdays coming up. Simeon and Zara both have birthdays this week. And so I'm just seeing this bright and bold in the back standing out. That was one of the kids' choices for um, breakfast for their birthday. I needed to stock up on flour again. We we're really low, and so I got four bags of all-purpose flour, two whole wheat. We ran out of parsley. We're low on baking soda. Two cans of just these pineapple tidbits, some jam. These cake mixes, so one of the kids wanted lemon cake for their birthday. These were three for five dollars, so I just got three cake mixes. I'll have to be very purposeful to make sure that like I make those cakes. Um, ice cream again for birthdays as well as icing sugar because I'm making cinnamon rolls for Simeon's birthday breakfast. Lots of baking and uh, fun meal prep here this week. Corn was three for something, I think $10. I bought parchment, paper, chocolate chips, raisins, some naan bread, Lots of bananas, avocados, lettuce, potatoes, cucumbers, carrots, apples. Back here, I got two boxes of digestive cookies. Cheez-Its were on, four for $8. I got some Ritz crackers and the big family size of wheat thins. Some of this watermelon, lime, sparkling water, potatoes, yogurt, kielbasa, sour cream, cottage cheese, a block of butter, three dozen eggs, three bags of milk, and two cartons of cream. It is November the 10th today. I forgot with all these birthdays coming up this weekend, I should have bought two blocks of butter earlier this week, not just one. So we had to run to Walmart and just get another block of butter. It is November the 14th today. I went to Costco this morning and I spent a lot on grocery items and other items, but the amount I spent on groceries alone came to $547.72. I'm also filming a separate Costco haul. So by the time this video goes up, if you wanna see more details on like how much I spent on each item, as well as some of those non-grocery items I bought, that will all be included in that Costco haul. So if you're curious about that, go back and check out that video but here now I'll show you the groceries I bought today. There is a lot so I'm just gonna go through this really really quickly and again you can check out that other separate Costco haul if you want to see more details um, but we got dinner rolls, uh, some for the freezer, some that will be eaten earlier, some rice ramen, almonds, cashews, bacon mitts, onions, bananas, uh, some non bread, two packages of that actually, some kettle cooked chips, some popcorners, apples, carrots, big bag of onions at Costco, big old bag of carrots, uh, cucumbers, spinach, broccoli. Um, we needed a few spices, so like pepper, we got peppercorns and just the already ground black pepper, salsa, salt, baking powder 
um, men's vitamins as well as vitamin C that we like to take daily, chocolate chips, white sugar, Cheerios, coconut oil, this is my uh, collagen powder, and coffee. And then over here, my overflow, I got pepperonis, ham, some coffee cream and whipping cream, eggs, cheese, two blocks of butter, sour cream, hummus, some already grated mozzarella cheese that was on sale for a really good price, milk, frozen strawberries, breakfast sausages, and french fries. It is November the 15th. A lot of my, my grocery items this month have been dictated by all the birthdays that we have in our house. And like I said, we have a birthday party coming up this weekend. So I had to go to the store today and just pick up a couple of things that I couldn't get yesterday at Costco. And the total I spent today was $8.40. And this is what I picked up. We are doing Rice Krispie squares for the party. And so I just bought some Rice Krispie cereal and marshmallows. It is November the 23rd today. Our groceries from Costco last week are still doing us well. We still have so much left, um, but we needed milk. We finished all of our milk yesterday. Actually, I think I remember saying in the grocery haul from last week that I meant to buy four bags of milk and I only bought three. And so it's gone, we're low on eggs. We're just about out of, we still have lots of bananas, but we're, we only have a couple apples in there. So I thought I'll just get a few things, but we didn't need a lot. So I only spent 79.44 today. Here's what I got. I mean, $79 sure does not go as far as it used to. <laughs> the number itself, like that's a good bit of money, but here's all that it bought for us. So three bags of milk, three dozen eggs. We've been eating a lot of eggs lately. Actually, I'm going to take this and just boil it right off the bat, boil these eggs because um, Andrew and I, the kids don't, but Andrew and I enjoy snacking on boiled eggs. And the kids like egg salad sandwich, so I've been trying just to always have cooked eggs um, ready. I got a couple of cans of diced tomatoes, a couple of kinds of these little rice chips, cheddar and dill pickle. I did order one thing that they were out of stock. It was just like the small flavored yogurt cups, but I did get this tub of Greek yogurt, cottage cheese, two blocks of butter, two cucumbers, two blocks of cheese, and then a bag of Royal Gala apples. It is November the 28th today. It's the end of the day and Andrew stopped and bought us some eggnog on his way home. He did buy six cartons of eggnog because the last couple of times we went in to get it, they've been out. And so we thought, we just need to stock up with enough eggnog <laughs> that will last us. All of us in the family, all seven of us love it. Um, so we just need to stock up enough that we'll have it through Christmas. So I'm gonna stick two into the fridge for now. And I do know that they freeze great. So four cartons will go into the freezer. Okay, I already went and stuck the other four into the freezer, but they're all exactly the same. Um, the Kawartha Dairy brand, it's a really nice, creamy, like, rich eggnog. So the six cartons came to $29. That concludes all of my grocery hauls for the month of November. And yes, I am gonna need to do a big grocery haul, like either December 1st or 2nd. But for the month of November, my total was $1,022.08. So barely, barely over that $1,000 mark. And considering that we even did that big Costco haul this month, I am really happy with that amount spent. And I will be back next month. I'll show you what we buy in December. And if you wanna go back and watch my other monthly grocery hauls from this year, I have done one every month this year. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.